Hi again everyone. So this is the part two to um, chapter five, which is listening and remembering, and we were looking at the different stages in the listening process. The first step was where we looked at attending to what the person is saying, paying attention, focusing, angling our bodies, etc. Then two was understanding, where we're trying to understand fully what they're saying with out trying to have a lot of room for misinterpretation third one where we ended in the last video was remembering we need to remember what people are saying so that we can you know have a conversation flowing rather than keep asking questions and asking for clarity then we have the fourth stage which is called evaluating this is where you critically analyze and what you have heard to determine what is truthful or not so someone comes and tells you a story about something that's happened to them you took notes, everything, but you know what? Something is not clicking. You start to evaluate it to make sure to see how truthful they are going. So how do you go about helping yourself to analyze? One, you need to analyze facts to determine whether they are true. Look at the facts. The facts generally speak louder than the emotions. And two, test inferences to determine whether they are valid. So if they say, well, I was unable to meet with you for lunch because... Um, Earlier today, there was an accident in a certain city, town, and there was a lot of traffic, and I was stuck in traffic. That's why I, I was unable to have lunch with you. You can, fact says that yes, when there's an accident, chances are you are able to, there's traffic, so you're unable to move fast and reach to your destination on time. But checking out the facts mean that you need to go and find, was there really traffic in that area? Did it, did, was it really an accident? And the last in the listening process is responding. You're responding is where you actually give your response, your feedback, so that you pay attention what is to what someone is saying. You try to understand it. Then you take notes to remember it. Then you have to give a, resp um, a response after all of that. So as you give a response, there are several guidelines to book highlight. One, um, make sure that your response shows emotional support if it's needed so someone tells you something you like okay and really and truly what they want is an emotional response that generally doesn't go someone says you know I'm sorry I had a, lo a loved one pass away that's why I was unable to get that work done for you All right and you know you respond okay it's almost as if you're saying whatever I don't care. In a situation like that, you want to tell, give the person an appropriate emotional response. I'm sorry to hear of your loss. Um, is there anything I can do to assist you? Can I help with anything? Those are the responses that you want to give when someone is actually telling you about something that's emotional to them. Two guidelines. In terms of the guidelines, demonstrate respect when disagreeing or critiquing others. Right. A lot of times in our culture, you find when people are disagreeing with something, they're rather rude, insultive. I don't like that. I don't care. You want to do that in a very polite manner. It's that is not something I like, something I appreciate. I don't appreciate the way you're speaking to me. I would prefer you to speak with a different tone. You want to be careful as you disagree or you're given some sort of negative um, feedback that you don't offend the person or even embarrass and offend your own self. So that's pretty much it for the chapter 5 on listening and responding. And just to go over to what's in the summary, listening is a complex activity made up of five simple process. You have attending, understanding, remembering, evaluating, and responding. Listening skills is important to both effective personal and relation, uh, professional relationships. Sorry, Because we spend so much time listening, we adjust our listening depending on its purpose in a particular situation. The five types of listening we might use are appreciative, discriminative, comprehensive, empathic, and critical. To be an effective listener, you must master each of the five process of listening. Attending is the process of selecting and focusing on specific stimuli from among the countless ones that we receive, and that is so true. You want to make sure that what you need to listen to, that you're actually listening. Understanding is the process of decoding the message so that the meaning is accurately reflected in what you, the speaker intended to say. Remember is the process of retaining the information so that you can recall it whenever it's needed. Critical analysis is the process of evaluating what has been said to determine its truthfulness. We all need to evaluate what people say to know if they're lying to us, wasting our time. And lastly, 
responding supportively helps people feel better about themselves and their behavior so that is in total chapter five and i will open a discussion forum for you to share your thoughts and there are a couple of questions that i want you to answer so so i want you to head over to the forum now discussion forum to see the questions that are there that you have to respond and share your input always remember that when you are giving your comments to be very respectful to others and even if you are giving someone else feedback and respond to what their contribution was that you're not going to be disrespectful you want to practice effective listening and responding